So I, I think I've got, I work right now with this phenomenal salesperson, um, okay. very successful. Um, and and I, I've broken him down into four characteristics that I think make sense. One, he's got an innate drive to him. Two, okay. he's got an insatiable curiosity. And I, I, you've heard me say curiosity several times because yeah. I think it's important. Yeah. You know, I always I always joke. It's like showing up for a blind date. If you show up for a blind date and your date talks about themselves the entire time, that's not very satisfying, is it? You don't want someone to just show up and talk about themselves. You want someone who's yeah. curious about you, who's curious about what you do, curious about how your process is. Right. So right. I think that curiosity is number two, you know, okay. innate drive, curious. You bring a certain amount of experience. You have the ability to solution a problem. You have the ability to work with a client and say, wouldn't it be neat if we could do this, right? And then you can wrap it, if you can wrap it all in an authentic style. So drive, curiosity, certain amount of experience, solution or problem solving, and wrapped in an authentic kind of um, tone, um, I think you can be very, very successful as a salesperson. All right. Now, having and said that, Having said that, I'll say one more thing. Yeah, you sure. know what Roomba the vacuum is? Have you ever heard of Roomba the vacuum, the robotic vacuum that roll? Is it? No. Oh, you haven't. Okay. Well, then I'll save that antidote. But I, 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 um, I have, I have a robotic vacuum that okay. that operates in the in the in our house, and you just turn it on and it just vacuums, and it's the perfect salesperson because it has a single mission. It comes out. It works. Every time it hits a wall or an obstacle, it pivots, it turns, it keeps going. It knows it has one job to vacuum. A salesperson yeah. has one job to create revenue. The other thing salespeople struggle with sometimes is they forget what their mission is. They forget it's their mission to hunt revenue. It's their mission to create customer relationships. They start thinking about the back office or the accounting or how their pricing model is off or how their service delivery is off, or how you know, other competitors have offered something they don't have. And they start introducing into their minds all these side things and start exactly. which they start to forget that their job is to vacuum, their job is to sell, their job is to build those front client relationships. And they have to do that with purpose and with will. And every time you hit an obstacle, you pivot and move around it. You don't pivot and come backwards. So, you know, I think sales, sales people's, um, sales people have to be single-minded in that vision a little bit.